Okay, uh, I correct correct this base C, uh, I paste it over here. Uh, so what is base C? In case you don't know, uh, this is your nose. Uh, then you take your your finger, right? Uh, like this. Uh, this one. Uh, this little base <laughs> Sorry, a bit girly. Uh. Okay, everybody, let's start. Today, we're going to talk about geometrical constructions. Okay, it used to be called geometrical constructions. And now, it falls under your form 1 lines and angles okay so form one lines and angles you have the calculation of angles la. you have angle of elevation and depression that you have to look at it uh. and then you have this one very important part called constructions okay so i'm going to conclude all the constructions that you need in form three okay pt3 uh, your construction related stuff as long as it relates to what relates to your compass relates to your protractor I will name it as construction. So besides saying chapter 9 only, right? Construction, what you have? Okay, let's see. Uh, so I put a big title here called con construction. Okay. So everyone, construction, I'm not sure you agree or not. Lah. As long as you talk about construction, right? The first thing in your mind will be please get a compass and a ruler as well as your pencil. That's the most important thing. Okay. Now and of course, some of the time, question might need you to measure some angle using protractor. So please keep it nicely. You know, this one, uh, later all the words cannot see, then gone. Uh. Okay, so remember the word construction, it means these are the three things that you need. This one, it depends on whether they mention the word measure, uh, then you will need it. Okay, so protractor, leave it aside. Okay, so everyone. So under this construction, right, of course, under form one category, uh, under form one category, it's, it falls under this thing called lines and angles, you know. Okay, so this topic lines and angles, we, like what I mentioned, you have calculation one, you have angle of elevation depression, and then you have this construction related subtopic. And under this construction related subtopic, I'm going to make it into a few category. Number one, it's going to be the 90 degree version. And number two, it gonna be the white. It gonna be the 60 degree and 120 degree version, as well as finally the bisector, the angle bisector version. Okay, so under 90 degree, right, we name it as perpendicular bisector as well. Okay, the word bisector means what? It means half la. Bisector means you cut into half, cut into two parts la. cut into two parts. Okay, so over here, bisector, it applies to any type of angles. Let's say they come up with something like 48 degrees, then you cut into half, you will get 24 degrees and so on. Now. So these are the few skew... <gasps> My sliver. Hey. Okay, so these are the few, few um, categories that I'm going to show you in this whole video, all the things that you need to know, know about constructions. And of course, the next part, okay, we're going to talk about this thing called a little form 2 related construction. Just a small part, very small part only, okay? This small, small part, right, it's about giving you a circle. Uh, giving you a blank circle. Okay, blank one. Okay, giving you a blank circle. And this blank circle, what happened? You're going to find your CP. You know what is CP or not? CP means center point, uh, your center point. So if I give you a circle, okay, I get your circle using compass, of course. They will draw it for you nicely. Uh, it's just that, hey, where's the center? Can you just simply put a dot there? No. So we're going to have a proper way to do the construction so under this video these are the things that i'm going to show you okay so everyone let's go into the first part don't waste the paper we're going to use this part okay now so let's start off with this thing called 90 degrees okay we're 90 degrees okay we name it as perpendicular okay bisector ah this is the first thing that i'm going to show you okay everyone so there is three things that you have to know under this perpendicular bisector so we have case number one so these are the skills that you need when you solve questions like this you see, you see these are the questions where i prepare for you guys you see so let's say it comes up question like this right so we need to have like proper skill to handle it so at the end of it after we complete the whole thing ah so by the end of it the end of the video, right? Ah, this is what I'm going to show you, like how to do the construction, everything, okay? Now, so the funny thing is, I tell you, when I see quite uh, students saying, teacher, how do like rhombus, huh? parallelogram, all this drawing, I'm like, oh, 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 it's something simple, no. Okay, so 
let's leave it aside and come back to this thing. Okay, now, case number one. So case number one, we're going to do a basic 90 degree, okay, everyone. So the basic 90 degree perpendicular bisector, we're going to start with this thing called, let's say, AB, AB, um, it's 5 cm. Ah, AB, it's 5 cm. Okay, and we're going to perform a basic perpendicular bisector. And remember, okay, the first thing you do is, if let's say they didn't prepare any straight line for you, first, take a ruler. This ruler, very cheap and very useful. Okay, when you come into Form 3, you learn something called plan and elevation. Ah, you need this ruler. These are, don't buy other ruler. This one is the best. Ah, so let's say I draw a straight line. Simply draw a straight line. Don't draw exactly 5 cm. So once you draw a straight line, you put like this is A. Ah, then what you do next? You're going to take your ruler and measure 5 cm? No, you can't do that. So what you need to do is one extra funny steps. First, take your compass. Make sure your compass, everything is like nice one. Can you see this one? Reasonably sharp. Ah, not too sharp. Later, sh too sharp. Ah. Okay, you slightly move a bit, then Koya already cannot. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. You're going to place it on zero and open up to 5 cm. Uh, this is what you're going to do. Lah. So you get 5 cm, right? So once you measure 5 cm on your ruler, this is what you're going to do. You move away and you poke it on A. You see, poke it on A, then you put like one arc. This is called arc ARC. ARC arc. Okay, because compass is draw circle, right? So this small thing over here called ARC arc. Lah. Okay, so we're going to put like B. Yay. So this is 5 cm. So I'm going to put by the side 5 cm. So how are we going to perform this basic one? Very simple. Take your compass, open up. This is called full length drawing. I name it as full length. Lah. So it's either you open up full length, then you draw up and down. Okay, so you see, you draw up and down. So you notice that, teacher, why the way your whole compass is like so weird, right? I like, lah. I like to hold this way, I hold this way, lah. Because to me, right, when I press it hard on this pivoted part, right? You see, pivot on this B coin. Right? So I press it very hard and I can control up and down. Some of you might say, teacher, I thought you're going to hold like the upper part so it will be easier for you to draw. It depends on you, okay? So you want to do this way also can, you want to do this way also can, it depends on your style. Lah. So everyone, I'm using full length drawing, you see, full length 5 cm. So I cross up and down two arcs already, right? Now. So I'm going to turn around and put it on A. You see, I poke it on A now, see? Ah, so, is using I'm using the same full length, you know. So I'm gonna draw up and down again. Okay, I'm gonna draw up and down again. Nice. Okay. So after I draw up and down, do you notice there is intersection number one and intersection number two? So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my ruler, connect this upper part intersection and the bottom part. I'm gonna draw up to down. So the moment I draw up to down, right? Number one, you got 90 degree, and the most important thing, performing this thing, it allows you to get same length. Ah, chante, right? So you see 2.5, 2.5 already. So that's something called a basic drawing. Okay, so version 2, right? If let's say you see, teacher, full length can don't use or not. Yes, you can do this. You see, these are full length, right? You can make it smaller. Uh, but when you make it smaller, make sure it's more than half. Uh, so reasonably, like bigger lah. So it will be easier for you to judge whether more than half or not. So let's say this way, you see. I prove to you the answer is the same one. So using this length, I said open up any simple length as long as more than half so i'm going to draw up and down you see i will still get the same answer you see so i didn't close it you know the most important thing the rule here is don't ever touch close open wider don't do that once you open up a proper length leave it so you see i poke on the other side point a already so you see i i cross up and down do you notice it's the same answer right so it depends on which one you want to use like up the the first method where you go uh, slightly higher a bit, you want to make it smaller to make it like shorter, up to you. But I personally, okay, to be frank, I personally prefer the second method. The reason being, let's say, uh, let's say, so happen that this whole AB, they draw it at the bottom. Then of course, method 2 better because if let's say, the first method, you will draw out of the A4 paper already. So, a bit no point. Uh. So, second method is actually better. Uh. Okay, so now, everyone, case number 2. Case number two, it's like the second skill like this. Huh? So second skill, I'm going to do this thing. You know what is this? Huh? It's to correct your hidung. Uh, so correct, correct, correct. You take one paste here, then you paste it. Okay, so I'm going to do this way. See? So number one, there is one point. Okay, so I put one point. Uh, so the pattern go like this. So that's why all these skills, you're going to use it on the questions. Uh, okay, on the questions. Okay, so there will be one point. 
okay, there will be one point on, okay, on a straight line, okay, on a straight line, okay. So what happened is the question says A, B is going to be 5 cm, same thing. And I'm going to put the point elsewhere, lah, so the question go that way. So the question comes out already. Okay, so I'm going to prepare my 5 cm, guys. So one straight line, very long one, simply put one A. And after that, what happened is open up your compass and measure. Please, uh, don't, don't, don't take your ruler and put it over there. Okay, so you open up, measure 5 cm on your ruler, poke it on A and put one arc and make sure it's clear enough and you place a B there and that will be 5 cm. Okay, now so this is like normally they will prepare nicely in the question for you. you see, for example, can you see they already prepare the question for you nicely, and eh? So most of the time, all these things they prepare for you already, eh? Okay, now, now what happened next? You're going to do this. Uh, no, the question going to give you this extra point. So let's say uh, I correct, correct this base here. Uh, I paste it over here. Uh, so what is base C? In case you don't know, uh, this is your nose. Uh, then you take your, your finger, right? Uh, like this. Uh, this one, uh, this little pacey. <laughs> Sorry, a bit girly. Uh. Now, so I paste it over here, you know. So I paste it over here. So let's say this is your point C. Uh, this one point C. Uh. So what happened next? Uh, my question here, my perpendicular. I'm going to write the question nicely, okay? So the question say, the perpendicular, the perpendicular bisector, okay, must pass through pass through a uh, pass through point c ah pass through point c it means when i go down right it must pass through cut, cut off point c ah that's the important word okay so how do you pass through the point c very easy i tell you now nah, i tell you this base c here i paste it here cry not so when i paste this base c here what you need to do is to take this compass hey, a bit disgusting uh, but that's how i memorize it now so you take this needle you poke on the base c you poke Ay, you poke the PC there already. Okay, so once you poke the PC, what you do? You have to draw a barrier to protect. Okay, my PC very, you know, like a mask, you know. So I'm going to paste it there and put a protection barrier, see. So what I do is I poke it on the PC, okay. And after that, I take my compass and open up wider a bit, a bit only. You want to make like wider, like bigger than what I, what I opened just now. It's up to you, okay. But the, the thing here is I try to make it within A and B. So I make it smaller a bit. You see what I do? Huh? I'm going to draw one protection barrier by the left side. And I'm going to turn around. Okay, hey, don't close. Huh? Remember, the most important rule. Don't ever make wider or you press it smaller after you open up a specific length. Okay, so you see. Can you see there's a protection barrier by the two sides of it? So that's the PC in the middle, right? Not? Ah, so next, what you're going to do, you see, I'm doing the same thing. The idea is like this. Can you see the perpendicular that I draw just now is right in the middle? So these two things will be same length. You see, this is like the same length there already. So I'm going to open up the compass, hit, and poke it over here. Poke it over here and open up full length. I already say, it's either full length or you want to make it smaller but more than half. Ah, I see the rule there, right? Okay, so let's say I take full length like, because a bit short here already. So I'm going to open up full length and draw up and down so standard lah some of you might say teacher can i draw like upper part only because there's a point here already it's up to you but standard i will do up and down lah so easier to memorize so you see i draw up and down already ah. so you see up one up down one up and turn around and poke here again ah i see you got a rhythm there and okay so you see i'm gonna draw like up and down again wow so you see there is intersection and now you take your ruler and throw it there take your pencil and connect the intersection hey Nah, nice. 90 degree. Perpendicular. Pass through your base C. Base C. 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 Uh, uh, understand not? Okay. Now that will be your case C. Uh, case 2. I keep saying the C. Okay. Now, so that's case number 2. Let's go into case number 3. Where? Case number 3. What happened, guys? Uh, case number 3. See ya, see ya, see ya, see ya. See ya. Case number 3. Hey, case number 3. Tot, tot. Hey. So now, there is one point. Okay, one point, floating, okay, floating, floating above, above a straight line, 
Uh, but of course, question, they won't say something like that funny one. Uh, okay, so in your proper question, right, they will write nicely. I mean, as in, the question it is not like they will do like one 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 question only. Like they want to draw like one perpendicular. That would be like too easy to read. So normally they will ask you to draw like a trapezium, a quadrilateral, or maybe a rhombus, parallelogram, triangle, all these things. Okay, so normally it will be like polygon based. And, okay, so 5 cm standard, draw a big straight line and then put an A here. Don't measure straight away. Take your compass, you see. Same thing. So I'm going to poke here, 0, open up to 5 cm, and then poke on A and do an arc, and place my B and put 5 cm, nice. So standard, la, this one normally they prepare for you, it's just that I draw one more time. La. Okay, nice, now done already. So where is my point C? So now I'm going to write the same word, you know, perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular bisector must... Pass through. Okay, pass through point C. Okay, so where is the point C? So I'm gonna correct, 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 and then after that I'm gonna hit, flick, and then the point C. Okay, over here, all oh, red color, got blood. <laughs> okay, so the point C is here now. So now I'm gonna make sure my perpendicular pass through these things. So what we gonna do? So let me draw a funny, very um happy laugh laugh out loud l o l auntie see so this is the auntie i'm gonna draw it out see uh, so i'm gonna draw this very big auntie like this you see this auntie curly hair this is like the xd i'm not sure by old people use xd and you know in emoji sorry lah i'm old okay now so i'm gonna do this thing you know see open up my compass uh wait i don't want i don't care about the length first the same standard thing, I always play with the base C. In case you don't know what is base C, I tell you again, uh, you take this finger, uh, you put it into your nose and you correct, you get one base C. Uh, in Cantonese, that's called base C. Uh. In English, I don't know what is that. No shit? Maybe, uh, okay? So, poke on the C. So, so you poke on it, poke on it. Uh, see, then I'm going to open up a bit. Okay, I'm going to draw what? I'm going to draw this big smiley face. I say a laughing auntie. L-O-L auntie, cry not. This L O L anti, okay? L O L X D, <laughs> okay? So not funny, okay? See, so I'm gonna open up this one. Uh, I'm gonna draw a C shape, okay? Okay, lah, not C shape, lah, but like a manko, you see? I draw like a manko, you see that, not? So can you see a dot there? Uh, by the way, this anti got nose one, so I put a nose there, you see? Now, uh, so see a nose, see this smiley face there, not? Okay, so you notice that there is two intersection by these two sides, okay? I'm gonna draw an arrow and show you, you see? Oh, I just burped, sorry. Nah, 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 see, see. So I'm going to open up my compass and poke it on these two intersections. Just nice, you see, just nice. Okay, so after I open up this big, right, student will say this thing, like, teacher, if I draw this way, uh, then the auntie's nose is like, on top. Never mind, man. you want to make it bigger also, can, but make sure you are always using the same length. So I just open up wider, la, huh? you want to use same length also, can I? Okay, so let's say I use same length, la, huh? I use same length. So I draw up. You see, I draw up, I draw down. Ah, fantastic. You see, right in the middle, not? You see? So you turn around and you poke it on the other side of the intersection. You see? Same line one, ma. You see, same line. So you draw this X. Ah. Then you draw these two intersections already. You take this ruler, you throw there, you take your pencil, connect the two intersections, and you draw a line. Ah, 90 degree. Shock, shock, I tell you. But of course, like what I mentioned, ah, of course, this, this is the auntie. Ah, you see that? It's just that the nose is on top. <laughs> okay. Now, so everyone, everyone, this is the three different case of 90 degrees. You see, this one like the basic one, uh, we don't really use it. And after that, that will be one point C right in the right on in the middle of your AB. And of course, now it's at one C floating above AB. Okay, but of course, some of the time, right? Okay, student will say, teacher, no, I see this kind of case one. Uh. Okay, let me show you. Uh, a very good case. I simply draw this one, uh, okay? Like one scenario. Uh. Okay, everyone, let's say there's an A, B here. You you agree or not, uh, sometimes uh, sometimes uh, they ask you to draw a 90 degree over here. One. Cry not. So how do you draw this 90 degree over here? Very easy, and I tell you, you see. Nah. So let's say the question prepare nicely for you already. Uh. So what you do is you to extend. Okay, because normally they, they prepare this A, B for you already. Uh, nah. So I'm going to draw a perpendicular on this A, you know. On this A. Uh. Ah. So I'm going to extend a bit. Okay, I'm going to extend a bit. But it depends on this, like one of the method only, you know. So, 
by using 90 degree, this is what I can do. So I open up my compass, poke it on A, and imagine the A is just like the PC over here. Uh, so I'm going to draw a protection barrier by the two sides. You see, one and two. You see, I just simply open up one line, you know. So you see, poke left and right already. And now, open up, poke it on these two sides. You see, poke it on these two sides. Ah, uh, you see, full length or make it smaller but more than half. You see that? Ah, uh, so let's say I use full length. Uh. So full length. So like what I mentioned, because there's an A there for your direction ready, right? Now. So you can draw the upper part only. You can ignore the bottom part if you want. But same thing uh, to me. I will draw standard up and down. So I turn around, you see, not closing it. I'm using full length, by the way. Full length, you see, full length up to here. So I draw up and down. You see? So once I draw this up and down, do you notice my perpendicular bisector? So throw the ruler, put it over here, and draw a line and get 90. So that's another quite um, popular case. Lah. Okay, everyone, this is 90 degree version, and we're going to draw it. Hey! And then let's see. The ballet already see. Now, so the next one, uh, do you notice this one 90 done already? So it's like a checklist. Done. So three different case, case one, case two, case three, and one uh, real life example. Real life example, cry not. Real life example as in this one. Uh. You see? You pass through AM, cry not. Ah, good. Sui sui bo zao zui. You see? Now we're gonna do 60 and 120, okay? So now it's already how many minutes? Wow, 20 plus minutes already. Cannot, cannot, cannot. So maybe I I I might separate in two videos, depends, huh? Okay, 60 and 120 how? Huh? 60 and 120 how easy okay. Let's see. 60, 120, the different angles. So now I'm gonna put 60 degrees here. I'm gonna put 120 degrees here, something simple. Okay, something simple. So I'm going to design the question a bit. La. Let's say A, B, 5 cm. Okay, A, B, 5 cm. Cryonite. Uh, A, B, 5 cm. All done. Okay, what I do next. Uh, what I do next. I'm going to say like uh, angle A, B, C equals to enam plu darja. Right? So this one, angle A, B, C equals to 120 degrees. Okay, darja. Right now, so everything do nicely with it, and of course, another one, uh, everyone BC equals to 5 cm, also BC equals to 5 cm, also. So, AB 5 cm normally they prepare for you, but I'm um, but we're gonna draw it together, okay, ourselves. So, I draw a line here, I draw a line here. You see, I do it simultaneously, I show you. So, this is A, and this is A. Take a ruler and take compass measure. Uh, take common measure. Don't put here and measure 5 cm. Don't do that. Huh? So you poke on 0, open up to 5. Nice. And what you do next, huh, guys? Poke on A and do an up. Poke and poke on A and do an up. Write the B and write the B. Put your 5 cm and put your 5 cm. So normally this one they prepare nicely. Right? And now I'm going to do the 60. Okay, I'm going to do the 60. Everyone. You need to know how to read the angle first. Angle, normally they put this or this way. Same thing. Ah. So angle A, B, C. Where is the angle B? So I'm going to read A, B, 60 degree acute, right? So your angle go this way. So your 60 is roughly over here. Lah. So how we how do we do it 60 degree? Simple. Take your compass again. Ah, see, wait, 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 wait. So poke on B, poke on B. And see, the, the idea is the same as your perpendicular. But what we're going to do is to make it smaller a bit. Ah, uh, so make smaller. There are so many different ways. So I will explain this way, okay? Student might say, teacher, why, why are you different, one? Right? It's okay, Arma. Uh, so I'm going to draw like, you see, I'm going to open up like roughly this size. Uh, up to you and you draw bigger also can. Smaller also can. But not too small. Not too small how you, how you turn your compass. Open like bigger a bit. Uh, roughly one finger. Like that would be the best, uh, best How's it? Position to turn your compass, okay? Now, so I'm going to turn uh, half. Not half lah, semi-circle lah. See, semi-circle, you see? I'm drawing like this semi-circle. Hey, eh, student, I tell you something uh, Let's say, oh, a bit half for you to draw, then you turn the paper lah. Heck lah, find some life heck. Now, you see? Correct, right? Ah, uh, half circle ready. I'm doing the same thing for you for 120, oh. No, your angle ABC, you know. You know your B will be in the middle, right? So, your... Obtuse are this obtuse angle, you're gonna go out over here. Right? So I do the same thing, I do like semi-circle. 
Okay, so you see life hack, everyone life hack. You don't know how to do like semicircle, turn your paper la. Do life hack la. Okay, see. Nice. See or not? Ah, so now, eh, I haven't closed it yet. Ah, remember, I don't touch whatever thing. Don't press. Don't wider it. No, don't do that. So I'm gonna put it over here. Poke. Ah, poke. Do one arc here. Hey, so this for arc sixty. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. You see, hey, sixty degree. You know, you understand, right? So now I get my sixty ready. Ooh, so I put it over here on the B and draw a straight line to the intersection. Hey, so this is my sixty degree. Ah, sixty degree. Wait, wait, wait. Sixty, you know? Right? Nah, don't close. Don't ever close it. Poke it on the intersection and further another sixty degree. So if let's say you poke it over here, you get 120 already, ah, cry not. So if let's say you put it over here, you draw one more time, then you get 180, lah, cry not. 60, 60, 60, 180, lah. Now then you poke it on B intersection, draw a line, nice, 120. So that's how simple it's your angle. Okay, so kawan kawan sekalian, don't forget the 5 cm, ah. So 5 cm, 5 cm. So put your ruler here and label the 5 cm. Poke 5 cm. Okay, poke it over here. Okay, poke it over here. 5 cm. Poke it over here. The 5 cm. Ah, the 5 cm. Nice, nice, nice. So that's the C, that's the C. So that's the 5 cm, that's the 5 cm. Nice, you complete your 60 degree and 120 already. Okay, so everyone, just want to show you something. Ah. Can you see this one? You get 60 already. You want to draw an equilateral, then you do another 60 degree, you draw a line, then you get the answer already. Ah. Cry not. Cry not. <laughs> okay. So, now, everyone. Real life hacks. Real life hacks. Sometimes, a uh, student will say, Teacher, how if I want to do my 90 degree using this kind of 60 degree method? Uh, can? Why not? Okay, remember just now the real life hack. Ah, uh, this one. Can you see this one? I want to do this thing. I'm doing the same thing now, huh? Uh, I'm doing the same thing now, but not using perpendicular bisector method, you know. I show you, everyone. Let's say simply one ah, uh, I get you this one. I put it over here lah. Draw one straight line. Eh, okay, and this is your A. This is your B. Cry not. Then student will say this thing one. Teacher, I want to do a ninety degree here. Can ah? Uh? Can ninety degree ah? Uh? Okay one. Uh, easy. Then just now the previous method. Remember, I extended the line. Cry not. I extended the line. So let's say you say do one. My teacher say do one to extend the line. Okay, can. Why not? Take your compass now. I show you. Now I show you, see, 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 see. Ah, you put on the A. Put on the A. You much jump on the draw 120. Much jump on the draw. Okay, see. I draw a semicircle. Ah, ah see. Semicircle. Ah. ah, see, semicircle. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, extend. Ah, see. See, alright. Ah, this one cannot. Then you turn around your compass. La. You see. Ah, nice. You see, alright. Semicircle. Ah. Don't close. Ah. Put here. One time, put here. One time, cry not. Okay, now, so can you see there is this arc in the middle, cry not? This is actually a bisector method, lah. It's just that it's a life hack, okay? So you just poke it over here using the same line, you know, poke over here, poke over here. You, you see, extend here one, extend here one, ah, see, ah? Then you turn around, you poke it over here, poke here, ah, poke here, poke, put one here. See, or not everyone. Can you see the intersection on top? So then this section on top and the A is the direction, then you just draw a line. My saying it already, uh, sorry. Uh. Okay, draw a line, then you get your 90 degrees. So that's another way to hack your 90 degrees. Understand everyone? Okay, so that's another way to, to hack your 90 degrees. Uh. Okay, now, the final part. Okay, the final part. The final part will be your bisector, guys. So bisector, how you do it? Okay, bisector means half right? Uh. Okay, so... Bisector, I'm gonna use a different paper la. Okay, different paper. So turn around, use this as your bisector. So everyone, let me show you something. Now let's say I want to draw this thing called tiga puluh darjah, thirty degrees. Okay, I'm gonna do thirty degrees. So again, my AB are uh, equals to five cm standard la. Then angle ABC gonna be thirty degrees. Okay, thirty degrees. You wanna make it fifteen also, can Do you know why? Like, you want to do 30 degrees, you draw 60, then you bisector, you get 30. Long. If I say you draw 15 degree, you draw 60, you bisect into 30, and you bisect the 30 into 15. 
you want to do 7.5 or so can you bisect the 15 again uh, but normally they won't do something that detailed on uh. so 30 degrees like very small already and uh. okay so i'm going to do two things one is 30 degrees one is 45 degrees and 45 degrees i have two methods over here for everybody okay so uh of course it will be the bisector way where not recommended or maybe you can do the perpendicular bisector way uh, perpendicular bisector way so there's two methods here for you to choose so i personally prefer this method lah. Okay, come back to this. Now, uh, everyone, see ya. Uh? Um, standard questions. I'm going to do this uh, AB 5 cm, angle ABC 30, and of course, my BC is going to be 5 cm as well. Okay, so normally, okay, normally you're going to prepare, uh, they will prepare for you. So let's say there's an A here, and same thing, I'm going to draw the 5 cm. Hey, okay, so put on A. Cross, yeah. So my B. So that's my 5 cm okay so everyone make sure when you draw you have to be very very specific uh, because i do it quite rush uh, so so just now i uh, not sure i tell you that one yeah, this one you see sang it a bit really but make sure when you draw you draw nicely uh, okay my my one consider quite nice really just that i'm rushing i'm gonna make sure like the timer uh, is like within within uh, a limited time so i'm gonna rush a bit okay make sure you know all the methods guys okay and now 30 degrees and don't forget because i said that a b c okay b will be the angle so the angle falls over here right so i'm going to draw like the semicircle that i mentioned just now so open any length up to you so like what i mentioned uh finger length is actually good enough really uh, okay bigger a bit also can run the bigger the better actually but not too big uh, because it will be not enough space right so standard you want to use this side on top you want to put it over here so can but what I mentioned just now is like life hack, right? Now. So you just put over here and draw like this can really. No, no need to be like too, too, too far, you know, the semicircle because your, your angle is like 60 degree only, all right? So remember, the most important thing, don't ever press widen it after you open a specific length, okay? So you poke it on the intersection just now and you draw one arc and this will be the 60, everyone. So once you get a 60 degree, what happened next? You're gonna... For me lah, standard, I will do this thing on everyone. I will do like dotted line. Uh, I will do dotted line. This one is not the answer. That's why I put dotted line to, to show myself only lah. Huh? This 60, I don't want. So remember everyone, the things that you draw, don't ever erase it. Uh, don't ever erase it, okay? So just leave it there. All the drawings, all the arc, all the little, little things that you draw, huh? okay? Of course, if I say too dirty, you, you erase that one, of course lah. Okay, now, how do you perform a bisector? A very simple one, everyone. Now, see. So I always say something like a torturing method in the class, uh, but a bit a bit violent. Uh, so I don't want to show that uh, that picture. Oh, I just gonna show you. Okay, let's say you imagine there's a person uh, sitting on a chair like this, open up wide. Okay, the, the leg is like spread up, okay, the, the man spread, you know. Sometimes you go LRT, uh, bars or white, man spread, you hate it so much, okay? Take away so many space, man spread. So let's say uh, man spread, uh, you wanna hit the middle. So how are you gonna do it? I show you. Now you imagine, you close your eyes, imagine you take this needle, you poke it right in the middle. <gasps> what pain, okay? So you poke it right in the middle, then you extend, uh, then you cross, you cast it cross uh, the knee. Try not, the knee, you cross it. Use the use this compass, you cross the knee, ouch. Cross the knee, ouch. You imagine a bit. Uh. <laughs> okay, then after you cross these two same length, or, or, or student might say, teacher, can I use the original length just now? Uh? Yes, you can use it. So let's say I'm using these two. I'm using the same length, you know. So I poke it over here and do the first cross. I poke it over here and do the next cross. As in arc lah. Huh? I will get one intersection right in the middle. Then now you take a what? Take your ruler. Or maybe you want to hit the middle part of the man spread, you know. So what you do? You draw a line. Uh, so t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t this one also 30 lah, but because you want A, B, and C, right? So you're going to put C here and measure the 5 cm. You can measure it over here. Just now you got 5 cm here, right? Uh, so you just put here. Yay, 5 cm. Okay, so that's how you do it as in your 30 degrees. And now, how do you do 45 degrees? Now, everyone, this bisector, uh, I'm going to continue here. Okay, I'm not. I continue here. Uh, you know what happened? So... Can you see 30 here already? There's a 30 ma. You continue another bisector. I see I show you ah. Uh. Nah nah. Can you see just now you, you open up this length just now? Right not. So you're gonna do the same bisector. You see, same length. 
put it over here, you see? Put it over here, further cross it. Ah, put it over here, further cross it, you see? Same thing. Ah, same bisector, then you get 45 degrees already. But make sure when you practice, you take a compass. Oh, not compass, sorry. You take a protractor, measure, and see whether you get exactly 45 or not. Ah, then you get 45 already. Ah, ah you see? So I can continue with the 45 here. And so as in you take protractor and measure and see whether that's a 45 or not. Okay, so make sure you, you, you practice till you get the most accurate one. Okay, so now everyone, the last angle. The last angle under form 1. Uh, okay, last angle under form 1. Bye, perpendicular bisector. Simple. Okay, now let me show everybody. Let's say I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. Hey, A, B equals 5 cm. Angle A, B, C equals to 45 degrees and then B, C equals to 5 cm, same thing. Hmm? Same thing. So I'm going to extend, hey, then this one A. I'm going to measure 5 cm now. You see standard, I'm doing the same thing, you know. So this one 5 cm, wow. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. hey you see, that one is my B. This one 5 cm. Nice. Okay. Hey. Now, how do we perform 45 degrees? Number one, you can use the, use the bisector way. You perform two times of bisector, you get the answer already, quite not. Uh, so you see, I prove it over here for you already, ma. Okay, now, the thing is, the thing is, let's say I'm going to use the 90 degree version. Everyone, I personally prefer this method. I prefer. Okay. LJ recommend. Chef recommend. Remember that? Okay, I put a thumbs up here for you some more. Okay, the reason being, uh, the the lesser bisector you perform, the more accurate it becomes. Uh, you have to remember this. Because over here, you perform two bisectors, right? Angle bisector, la, to be exact, angle bisector. La. So over here, I'm going to do this. I'm going to draw a 90 degree. Remember the real life hack just now? Ah, uh, So, it depends on whether you want to use, just now I did mention about, you can perform using the 60 degree way of 90 degree or you can perform the perpendicular way of 90 degree. I personally prefer the perpendicular bisector one. Ah. Okay, so I'm going to start with a 90 degree over here. So first of all, B is like at the base here, remember? I'm going to draw a protection barrier by the two sides. And why do I perform on B? Because the angle falls on B. Okay, so protection barrier on the left side and turn around and put it over here on the right side. So after you get these two protection barrier, what you do next? Open up wider and poke it over here. This is same. Uh, this is like full length or maybe make it smaller also can. So I will just make it this one uh, because quite short. Uh. So you can choose to draw like upper part only because there is one direction here for you to like because two points allows you to connect them really. But standard, I will draw up and down. Okay, it's like easier to memorize. So I turn around without closing. Remember, don't close, widen. Okay, after you open up a specific length. So, poke it over here, you see. I'm using the same length just now, right? So, up and down. So everyone, everyone, this is not the answer. This one is like the 90 degree. I'm going to put a dotted line there. Okay, I'm going to put a dotted line there, you see. So the reason why I put the dotted line there uh, is to tell myself I'm going to perform a bisector over here. Ah, uh, you, you see or not? You see or not? Ah, uh, the bisector. So this one 90, you know. So bisector, uh, it depends on you because I say bisector, you must make sure you have same length first, right? You're going to cross like two sides. And then you use the same length and draw an X there. Same thing. So I will just repeat the same 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 style. Uh. So open wider. Poke on B. Cry not. You see man spread. This is not man spread. Man spread. Okay. So you poke it over here, okay, poke in the middle, ouch, and then here one side, same ang same length, you know, this one same length also, you see, same length, same length. Poke on the knee, cry now, poke on the knee, poke on the knee. One, poke on the knee, two, cry now. Everybody, ladies and gentlemen, put it in the middle, and then you poke, 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 poke ouch, then you get 45 degrees already, okay. And then you're gonna measure the 5 cm again. So you measure here like, because you have 5 cm here already, right? So you measure this and you cross it over here, you get your C there. 5 cm. So everybody, this is the whole thing. Hey, here you see. 90 degrees case 1, 2, 3, 60 degree, 120, and then the real life hacks. Cry not. 
the real life hex back to the 90 degrees same thing on cry night and after that by sector i show you 30 degrees and how to perform 45 degrees number one using using what using two by sectors cry night uh angle by sector uh. then after that and then after that i mentioned about something called how to use 90 degree and bisect one time to get 45 so this is the important form one things that you're gonna know okay now final part then we stop I think question I put it on the, the next video lah everyone. Too long already this one. Okay, so now the circle thing ah uh, circle thing. I tell you circle. Never mind that one next video. Okay, so everyone, make sure okay you take a piece of paper and do it with me so that you can remember all the skill. Don't just watch it. Okay. And hope you understand a bit of thing every day. Okay. So I'm gonna stop here today and as for this thing, I'm going to do it on the next video and as well as the two, uh, the, the three different questions, I will do it on the other video as well. Okay, so thank you very much and hope you like it and that's all. Bye-bye.